Uh, good morning, Great Threes. Uh, today we are doing agriculture and uh, we are looking at uh, agribusiness. Agribusiness is the growing of uh, is the growing of crops and keeping of livestock for selling to get money. It is the keeping of animals and a growing of crops for selling in order to get money. Agriculture is a business which uh, gets its money from the growing of crops and keeping or rearing of animals for sale. And in other words, we are doing this at a large scale so that we can be able to sell and get cash. In Zimbabwe, uh, most people, they live in the rural areas and uh, in some areas we have got low rainfalls. So the government has provided and has introduced irrigation in many parts of the country. And uh, there are many products which can be produced such as um, crops and livestock. Under crops, we can have um, uh, maize, cotton, beans, uh, sunflowers, soya beans, tobacco, and many others. Whilst on livestock, um, they keep cattle, goats, sheep, pigs, rabbits, chickens, and many other animals. Then we want to look at the local agricultural products that are produced here in, uh, in Zimbabwe. Um, we have got uh, some crops that are grown under irrigation, uh, which are maize, cotton, ground nuts, vegetables, soya beans, sun and sunflowers, and many others. So maize is sold at the Grain Marketing Board, which is known as GMB in short, whilst cotton is uh, sold at Cotco. Maize is sold at the GMB, which is the Grain Marketing Board, whilst cotton is sold at Cotco. At times, the crops are consumed locally after harvest. Uh, like green mealies, farmers can actually sell them to buyers from town, and then uh, they, they buy them at wholesale price. It's uh, a bit cheaper than the market price. And then when they sell, uh, when they sell them again, they add a few more cents, which is known as the markup. Uh, for example, if they buy from the farmers uh, one cob of maize at, um, at $20 each, when they sell them at the marketplace, they can sell them at $25, which means $5 is the markup price, which is also the market price. And then after sell, uh, selling crops, we get money, and this money can be used to pay fees. Like for people in the rural areas there, uh, this is their, their source of money, source of income, so they can pay fees for their children using the money that they would have uh, gotten from uh, selling their crops or their livestock. And then um, they can also buy food Okay, they can also buy food and they can buy clothes for their children. Okay, sorry about the disturbance. And uh, some farmers, they grow vegetables and sell them as fresh produce. They sell them as fresh produce and uh, these are agricultural products that are sold while they are still fresh. These are agricultural pro uh, products that are sold whilst they are still fresh. Uh, for example, tomatoes, cabbages, lettuce and carrots. 
the growing of vegetables for sale in large gardens is called market gardening. The growing of vegetables at a large, a large scale is called market gardening. And then some farmers also keep a lot of uh, cattle and uh, this is called cattle ranching. Cattle ranching. And the cattle are kept in crows at night and they are led out uh, uh, to, uh, to have a long, uh, to, they are led out to pastures during the day. During the night, they are kept in crows, whilst during the day, they are led out to the pastures. And at times, a headman have to walk long distances uh, to find enough pastures for their cattle. And then when the cattle mature, they are sent to the market or abattoirs where cattle are sold and slaughtered for meat. And then they can sell the meat and people can earn income from their livestock. So other animals that are kept, they are goats, sheep, uh, and pigs. And goats are kept on the same pastures as cattle. And if they are pro uh, there are problems in gardens because they might, uh, uh, if they are left loose, they can go and eat crops in the garden. So if they are a problem, the, um, the farmers have to fence their uh, gardens properly. They have to fence their gardens or their um, farms properly so that the goats uh, cannot go and uh, eat the crops. Um, I've been using information uh, from page uh, 106 to 118, and uh, your work is on page 119 to page 120, which you are going to find in the Google Classroom. Thank you.